through spiritual calisthenics. Christ is in our midst today on Wednesday, March 27th. We commemorate the Holy Martyr Matrona Thessalonica, as well as St. Paul, the Bishop of Corinth. This martyr was the servant of a certain Jewish woman named Pantila, the wife of the governor of Thessalonica. When Matrona refused to follow her mistress into the synagogue, Pantila beat her so severely that she died in a few days, and thus received the crown of her confession. O Lord Jesus, unto thee thy, law, thy, thy lamb doth cry with a great voice, O my bridegroom, thee I love, and seeking thee I now contest, and with thy baptism and crucified and buried, I suffer for thy sake that I may reign with thee, for thy sake I die that I may live in thee, according to accept me, offered out of longing to thee as a spotless sacrifice, Lord, save our souls through her intercession, since thou art great in mercy. Continuing on, as we see again with the prophecy of Isaiah, that we see that the Lord is going to bring ruin to those who are haughty upon the earth, who co do falsehoods and lie, and everything is bitter as a result. And so we see that the Lord, who is our righteous God, who loves us, is also a righteous God of judgment, and his judgment is coming. Continuing in Genesis, then Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Now, there are some that interpret the land of Nod as the place of demons. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. To Enoch was born Arad, and Arad was the father of Machal, and Machal was the father of Methuselah, and Methuselah was the father of Lamech. And Lamech took two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other was Zillah. Ada bore Jabal. He was the father of those who dwell in tents and have cattle. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all those who play the lyre and the pipe. Zillah bore Tublacain. He was the forger of all instruments of bronze and iron. And the sister of Tublacain was Nama. Lamech had said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice. You wives of Lamech, hearken to what I say. I have slain a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain is avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy-sevenfold. So once again, we see that the offspring of Cain are children of sin and iniquity and arrogance. Going back to Adam, and Adam knew his wife again. She bore a son and called his name Seth. For she said, God has appointed for me another child instead of Abel. For Cain slew him. To Seth also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. And at that time, men began to call upon the name of the Lord. So from the time of Enosh, we see people begin to pray to God, which is what we are supposed to do. Continuing on with Proverbs, drink water from your own sister, sister and flowing water from your own well. Should your springs be scattered abroad, streams of water in the streets, let them be for yourselves alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth, a lovely hind, a graceful doe. Let her affection fill you at all times with delight. Be infatuated always with her love. Why should you be infatuated, son, with a loose woman and embrace the bosom of an adventurous? For man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he watches all his paths. The iniquity of the wicked ensnare him, and he is caught in the toils of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline, and because of his great folly he is lost. My son, if you have become surety for your neighbor, have given your pledge for a stranger, if you are snared in the utterance of your lips, caught in your words of your mouth, then do this, my son, and save yourself. For you have come into your neighbor's power. Go, hasten, and importune your neighbor. I hope that you've enjoyed today's spiritual calisthenics. Have a blessed and wonderful day.